again this morning. I think my head's going to explode. Mick, can you open the window? <sighs> oh, God. I'm sweating gin and tonic. Mick. Mick. If you don't want it. No, you're all right. So you need to build your strength up for your big date tonight. How many times it's not a date? Now, I know I've left this a bit late, son, but when a man and a woman get together... Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> You. Sorry to bother you, but you didn't speak to my wife yesterday, did you? Uh, no, why? She's gone. <laughs> right. She might have nipped out to the shops. She left yesterday afternoon and took all her clothes and passport. Right. Probably not at the shops then. No. Hmm. You'll let me know if you see her? Oh, yeah. No danger. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. See ya. Hello. Oh, hi, yeah. You all right? Hang on a minute. I've been meaning to ask you something. Yeah? Now, what was it? Uh, well, you can always ask me later. Oh, that was it. Now, uh, no, it's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got to go. <laughs> oh, that was it. That was it. Does your... Oh, now, what's her name? Bonnie White Lass with the black baby. Chantelle. Oh, that's it. Does Chantelle still want me to babysit for her tonight? Uh, no idea. Because if she does, can you tell her... I am available. Aye, all right. Do you know what time she might come? What was all that about? Oh, it's Chantelle's father. It's just pinched them flowers from the reception desk. All right. Hey, son. Love is in the air. Every Will you just pack it in? Hola. Right. You in 
like to check in. No, I'm fine, thanks. I'm meeting somebody. My name is Matteo. I offered you a very special tour of the Solano's apartments on this very hot day. It should be here somewhere. That is a very beautiful dress. Oh, thanks. It would look even better on my bedroom floor, no? Oh, there he is. I'm sorry I'm late. You look gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm. Pretend you know me. Mmm. 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 Sorry, I think you've got the wrong... I'm sorry about that. I can't stand Spanish waiters. It's the only way to get rid of them. Actually, it's really well not OK. Oh? Uh -huh. I mean, you come in here, you know, all guns blazing, invading my personal space. Personal space? Kissing me on the lips without even a, an introduction. My name's Dorothy. Oh, right, I'm Martin. And, you know, I'm a married man. And, well, you know, it's just not on. Right. So I suppose a fuck's out the question, then. That was a joke. Right. Look, Martin, I'm sorry if I've offended you, OK? Please, accept my sincere apologies. Oh, Martin. Nice lips. Come on, Tell, get up. Do you know where your father went? This is supposed to be an holiday. Unfortunately, love, when you have a baby, you sign away any right to a proper holiday for about oh, 18 years. I should know. Hola, room service. Room service? When did they start doing room service here? Beautiful flowers for a beautiful lady. Oh, my God! <gasps> Look at him! I've just gone mental with them down there. I ordered these for yesterday, so uh, technically it wasn't me who forgot our anniversary. Yeah, funny you never mentioned it. Oh, I love the beautiful English ladies. They smell of fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What time is your mum due here? Uh, not sure, sometime today. Oh, I wish my mum was still alive. She was a magician's assistant and drowned in something called the Chinese water torture cell. Now, why does that not surprise me? Is she staying for the rest of the week? No idea. I tried calling her, but her phone switched off. Well, remember, if you boys want to go out clubbing, Jacqueline and I will be very happy to look after her. There's a cracking free bingo night over the road. That's very kind, but probably not necessary. Dorothy, Gavin's mum, had him when she was young. Very young. More like brother and sister, really. Oh, isn't that lovely? Blimey, will you get a load of that? We may not be available to take your mum to the bingo if our friend in the white dress swings our way, if you know what I mean. What do you say, Jacqueline? Oh, yeah. Gavin! Oh! Come here, Troy, give us a kiss. Oh, look at the pair here. You look gorgeous. Uh, Donald, Jacqueline, this is Dorothy, my mother. Hello. Hello, love. Just a flying visit, then? Yeah, I've got a friend who's a pilot and he was coming to Alicante, so I thought, why not? I do like to keep my eye on me baby, don't I? So, are you Gavin's real mum? Cos you look about the same age. None taken. Oh, we've been through a lot together these past two years, haven't we, babe? Right. And you've obviously coped a lot better than Gavin. Sorry, you do realise you're saying these things out loud, don't you? When do you have to go back? Not sure yet. Why don't we play it by ear? You're not going back today. I've hardly seen you. I'll tell you what, why don't us three get some more drinks in? A very good idea. Oh, yeah. I'd do anything for a white Russian. <laughs> Look, why don't we take a walk into the town? All right. Is it OK if I use your room to freshen up? Is it OK? I'm not sure. Have you been vaccinated against TB? <laughs> I won't tell your friend I wouldn't mind one of those white Russians. I mean, a drink would be good as well. <laughs> 
was beautiful. Can I have another one? Of course you can, son. After tomorrow we go home and have to start paying for stuff again. Fill your boots. <laughs> hey up. Look who's here. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance fled. We've been shopping. She said she was going to get a white wedding dress. Jesus. She'll get done under the Trade Descriptions Act. Unfortunately, that's more or less what I said. Hiya, Mum. All right, Madge. You'll be pleased to know we've been out and made all the arrangements for tomorrow so you don't have to lift a finger. Mum, don't be like that. Mel bought me a lovely wedding dress. I didn't know they had a Primark in Benidorm. And for your information, yes, it is. White. I didn't mean to say what I said yesterday, ma'am. It just came out all wrong. If you're happy, then we're happy for you. Apology accepted. I didn't hear anybody apologise. Oh, Mother, I can't believe you're getting married tomorrow. Come here. Oh, get off me. I've just put a load of tanning accelerator on. You'll rub it off. Tanning accelerator? Fucking hell, who are you going to this wedding as? Diana Ross? Oh, very funny, I'm sure. Make yourself useful. Large vodka and orange. I've just sat down. Mick! Oh. What did your last slave die of? Tanning accelerator poisoning. <laughs> Don't run! <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I don't mean anything about it. But you got the best tits in this whole bar. Do you mind? You could at least buy me a drink first. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you staying for? Well, I could either go back tonight or tomorrow afternoon. It's up to you. Wonder if we can get you a wristband from somewhere. Do you mean one of these? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> it's raining now. Gin and tonic, vodka and tanning accelerator for match, and Viagra and soda for the condemned man. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You're all right, keep your song on. It's only tonic water like you asked for. Well, I'd like to propose a toast to the happy couple. Hey, hang on. What about these two? <laughs> <laughs> Madge and Mel. Madge and Mel. Excuse me. Janice. Jesus Christ. I mean, yes, love. Sorry. You were in my bar yesterday, and, um, well, this was under the table when you left. You must have dropped it. Ooh, that'll be mine. Must have dropped out my bag. Anyway, I just didn't want you to be out of pocket. Right, OK, well, I'll let you get on. Nice to see you again. Bye. Well, hey, look who's got a toy boy! You what? Did you see the way he was looking at you? No. Bloody hell, his mum will have to put the old boxing gloves on him before he goes to bed tonight. <laughs> Give us that back. You didn't lose any money yesterday. Poor little lad's made a mistake. Hey, be careful he doesn't drag you behind the back sheds. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're playing at? Are you all right? I'm so sorry. Well. So you should be. I was bang out of order coming here. Yeah, you were. But I can't stop thinking about you. Listen, you're going to have to go. I just wanted to look into your eyes one more time. Janice. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did you find me? I promised myself I'd look in every hotel in Benidorm until I found you. Are you serious? Yeah. Although I did start with the one written on your wristband. All right. Jack, you've had your bit of fun now. Go home and don't come back again. One more kiss. Sorry, are you on drugs? One more kiss and I'll go. I've never been kissed like that before in my life. My husband's going to be out here in about ten seconds. It's cos I'm ugly, innit? You what? You only kiss me cos I'm ugly. And you felt sorry for me. Jesus, where's Jeremy Cow when you need him? Jack. Jack, don't be daft. Come on, you... You're a good-looking lad. So kiss me. I'm a married woman. Kiss me like you kissed me yesterday, and I promise I'll go. You'll never see me again. I promise. God, you are so gorgeous. Jesus, what? God, you are amazing. 
Now, that's your lot. Go. I'm going. Look, I'm doing what I promised. You are absolutely gorgeous. Keep walking. Hiya, you all right? <laughs> Hello again. I'm sorry about that earlier. Well, you bloody well should be sorry. My wife has left me and you just think I'm an easy target. It wasn't like that. And yes, you're a very attractive woman. I can't deny that, but I'm just not interested. I love my wife. And I'm sorry, but you don't even compare to her in any way. If I had the choice of ten of you or one of my wife, I'd choose her. Every time. But I don't have the choice because she's not here. There they are. Oh, I do love the gays. They're always so well turned out, aren't they? How was your afternoon? Yeah, good, thanks. I had a siesta. And Gavin and his mum had a bit of a heart to heart. Oh, they haven't had a row, have they? No, nothing like that. Gavin's mum has a few, well, commitment issues. Everyone all right? Oh, yes. We were just talking about... Dogging. It. Ever tried it? No. No, as may think you'd be talking about world peace. <laughs> hey, here she is, the child catcher. <laughs> I could have had that 20 euros. Hey, she's got hot flush. You didn't have a quickie round the back of the bike sheds, did you? <laughs> I had to run after him. I don't know what it is, but all the women that fancy me seem to be younger. Oh. That's cos all the ones older than you are dead. Well, nearly all of them. Right, same again. <laughs> Hiya. Just dropped my son off with your mum in your apartment. I know. She said you were down here. I know. I thought we were going out for a drink. Well, we might as well have a few here first, cos... Well, they're free. Are you pissed? No, I... Don't you have four? What do you want? You're all right. I'll get it. What's the name then? It's Dorothy. I've put your mother down to sing Bonnie Tyler holding out for a hero. Oh my God, we'll never get her off the stage. <laughs> uh, excuse me. We need an extra chair. So, me and Lancashire Pub Quiz champion, unbeaten for three years, I don't have a lot of free time. So, well, I've not had a great deal of experience with girls. Really? Never a guest? No, seriously. I mean, I know I come across as a bit of a player, but I haven't ever had one girlfriend. Really? Yeah. Her name was Elaine. We met on internet. We did meet up for real, but she was very shy and... Well, it's not easy to chat up a lass who won't take a crash helmet off. Can I tell you a secret? Well, I don't know whether you want to take this upstairs at any point, you know, but... I'm not... Uh, I've not had... You know, when it comes to... Jeff, are you trying to tell me you're a virgin? What? No! God, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> no, I'm... You know, it's... Bloody hell, I, I, I can't believe you, you, you thought... You are, aren't you? Yeah. It's all right. So am I. Really? God, you see, I know we don't look like the perfect match, but... Well, when you think about it, 
We've got so much in common. I have a message for you. Message? Who from? It's my mother. She had to leave. Right, next up we have Dorothy. Come on, Dorothy, where are you? OK, one more chair. Uh, no, no extra chair, thank you. Dorothy? Mm, no. OK. Sorry, Dorothy, that was your last chance. I'm sorry, would you excuse me? Right, ladies and James. I'll sing the next number, but before I do, I have a special announcement to make. As some of you may remember, a few nights ago, we had a wedding proposal right here on this stage. And I'm very excited to tell you that I had a wedding with the groom today, and Madge Barron and Mel Harvey are to be married on Levante Beach tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock, and we're all invited! singing on your wedding day. Sorry now. Kate, where have you been? I just needed some space. Do you want exclusive cast interviews and even a backstage tour of the Benidorm set? Then go to itv.com slash Benidorm. Is this the final straw for Vernon's kids? How much more can they take? It's a case of calm down, dear. Next here on ITV1, Teenage Kicks.